everyone, Sophia here for my great challenge. How are you all doing? I don't even know which number episode this is. This is gonna be number 32. I think it's 32 or 33. But anyway, today is a big day. <laughs> today, this room, which is actually clean and organized for once, is going to be thrown <laughs> upside down again because I am finally doing the floor. It took forever. So for those of you who've been waiting patiently, thank you. If you are brand new, um, I have entirely remodeled my master's bedroom all by myself. Um, I'm 99% of it by myself. Well, let's say 95 because Scott did help remove the carpet and I had Edward help me hold the post for the closet. So I'm going to give you a quick tour of where I'm at. Uh, with this bedroom because a lot has changed um, if you haven't been following this series I started between Christmas and New Year's Eve last year uh, so I think I started December 26 or December 27 of 2021 and here we are today is the 12th of November <laughs> and I'm still not done I had this grandiose idea that I was gonna be done in May <laughs> <laughs> and it just didn't happen and then um, financially I just couldn't pull it together uh, to get the wood so now I've been able to do it um, because every time I was saving money it was being used for the household you know a situation um, but still I if I had waited longer I would have gotten a better wood I didn't get super expensive wood I got um, kind of like the lowest <laughs> range of which you can get online for laminate floor and that's okay if it had been for the first floor I probably would have waited and gotten better wood but this is for our bedroom we really don't care we only here to sleep at night so it doesn't really matter to me if it's super high quality but anyway I'm gonna give you a quick tour so you can see what it looks like so far and what I plan on doing So I'm going to start with showing you the ugly side of the room uh, because this is where I got all the equipment. Uh, everything's been pushed here. So I have all the wood. Behind it is my bike. Um, you can tell I haven't been using it. I can't. I got all this stuff in here. So I got all the wood here and then behind it is all of the undergarment or underlayer, whatever you want to call it. Bunch of other stuff. Okay. But what's new? Um, I finally got uh, the curtains up in this area. It's, uh, I don't think you can see them very well, hold on, they are uh, blue velvet and I got a new shear as well. So when you come up, this is hard because I really don't have much room. Okay, here's the room and what it looks like so far. Okay, now we're in business. Alright, so, um, and then the bathroom over there. So if you're new and you don't know, uh, I built this closet this whole area here used to be a flat wall so I built this closet I built this bookcase pretty neat <laughs> we love the bookcase I built the uh, uh, window whatever you want to call it shelf for the plants this used to be a green chair I painted in blue and I love it love the blue chair love 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 the blue chair look at my plants they are so happy here okay these these were used to be white I painted them and I added new hardware uh, and then on this side uh, there used to be a double door closet thing sliding and I redid the whole frame around it and I did uh, one sliding door and inserted my husband's um, dresser in there with new hardware and he's got the same thing on the other side here so this is what the room looks like from his side uh, yes <laughs> I love it it's really nice all right um, things are new that you haven't seen I've placed the um, 
jewelry box against the wall here. Let me show you from a different angle. Here you go. So it's kind of like a little bit in the way, uh, but at least it's it was taking a lot of floor surface because it had like a armature and I really couldn't um, figure out where to put it. So it's here for now. Well, for now, it's here, period. So it's attached to the wall and everything is nice and organized in it, by the way. Uh, so yeah, right here. Okay, let's go to the bathroom. Uh, I just did a video on this, so you probably already saw that. Um, and here's the bathroom with more plants, because I know you haven't seen the plants in a while. Um, so plants, this was the rescue one that was, I didn't know what to do with it. I got it into a bigger pot that was a um, street find. And now it is, um, I'd say doing pretty good. Okay. This is a fern that loves this area. Wasn't too happy under the window, too much direct sunlight. This one, man, I gotta tell you, these are hard to uh, maintain. Um, maiden fern, something like that. It's doing better now um, because I'm babysitting it. And then there's this one right here. Okay, so all my plants are there. There's only one that died. That was the ivy. Oh, and then this one is new too. That was a rescue from the store. Got it at like 60% off something. It was all nasty. And I brought it back to life. Okay. So, yeah. Painted. Um, you can't see it because I'm backlit. So I painted um, this in green. And it's uh, seaweed salad. The color and then I did the green along the wall over there and then again you see that the green continues on that side and then inside the bookcase and then this white here what's the name of it guys I forgot I forgot the name of it <laughs> uh, but anyway here's the wood so uh, I kind of wanted something darker but Scott said that it would really bring the room down so he actually picked the color uh, and then this is called does it have a name in the back of it let me see hickory something um, and it's uh, by traffic master and I like it because it has this um, old look to it like it's been sanded painted resanded not really well painted or stained <laughs> It's got this old farmhouse look. The only thing I don't like about it is that it's very shiny. Uh, so we'll see. And this is what it looks like against the wood in the room. All right. So I have everything I need. I bought a um, miter saw because it's going to be much easier. I'm, I'm trying to do this in one day, okay? I don't think it's going to happen, but we never know. So I got the miter cell. I got the knee pads. I got all the stuff I need uh, to lock the stuff in place. Oh, now you can see the blue. Okay, so I have the same curtains to go in the bedroom, by the way. I just didn't install them yet. I have three or four rolls of under layer. I have... Uh, there's more boxes there, by the way. Oh, that's the armature for the... Um, jewelry box. Uh, I have a ton, I think I overbought, but we'll see, of the uh, quarter round to go around the room to hide the uh, space against the wall. Uh, I have the stair thread thing, the first one that goes here. That's the one that's going to give me a problem because I don't know how to do that, so we'll see. And then everything else is boxes of wood. Uh, this, to my surprise, is not related. <laughs> we brought it upstairs and then I just realized, I don't know, you can't see. Okay, here we go. Yes, this is a Christmas tree. I have a company who sent me a skinny, tall Christmas tree for my Ratko's. And so that has to go back downstairs. So that has to go back downstairs um, because right after Thanksgiving, I'm doing the Ratko tree. 
Okay, uh, so all the wood is here. And in case you're wondering how many boxes did I get, I went by the measurement in the room. And to my surprise, the room is 213 square feet. Can you believe it? I floor. I didn't know it was this big. So it's 213 square foot and I got, uh, no, the room is 205 square foot and I got 213 square foot worth of wood. So the first thing I need to do is move because I'm going to work on this area first. I got to move everything you see here on this side of the room. And thank goodness I got the sliders on the bed. So the carpet's got to get rolled, the chair I got to bring into the kit, um, the bathroom, this has got to go in the bathroom, these I'm probably going to put them in the bathroom as well, so that I can just bring the um, bed in this area here, so I can start working over there. And the kids said they were going to help, so we'll, we'll see. Now for bedding, I'm not done yet. Today I'm supposed to receive the sconces that I ordered. Uh, so I'll probably install them. Uh, I'm going to show you a picture right here of the sconces. They are up and down and left and right um, pivot. So we're going to be able to read with them. So the sconces will be installed probably not on a video. Um, and then once I have the sconces, I'll do uh, the window. I'll install the new curtains here. And then I got to think about bedding. The bedding is probably going to be either completely white or uh, navy blue. No pattern. I want to do a quilt, um, an Art Deco quilt, since that's the look I was looking for for this room. But I don't have the time right now to do a quilt. Um, that's going to have to wait probably sometimes in 2023. So, all right, let me move everything. So first things first, I'm going to um, put the layer of underlayment, two millimeter thickness for improved stability and soundproof, suitable for all floating wood and laminate flooring. There's a pre-attached moisture barrier that helps protect the floor from moisture damage. So if I kick my tea at night, uh, it will preserve this wood right here. So there's that plastic film that's in between the two layers. Um. Oh, this is great. So this here is for the next layer. Okay, all right. So let me cut this to size. How exciting. <laughs> So, Willie and I are just looking at how this works. Um, you see how I've got it here at zero? Yes. And then here's at zero. So that means I'm going to get perfect straight cuts. This is what we want. We're not doing any bevel. Okay? So, safety first. Mm -hmm. Okay? Very obviously, this has a uh, thing here to protect your fingers. Okay? Mm -hmm. Do you want to learn to operate this or you want to leave it to your bro? I'll leave it to Edward. All right. Okay, so bottom line is, if you want a straight cut, you're going to activate the trigger in the back here, and then you press down. Okay. 
The dust collection bag did not help at all. The dust collection bag didn't help? No. Okay, well, this is going to be dust. Okay, so here's a perfect straight cut. All right, so I guess I'll be doing that. Or maybe Edward. Let's turn that off. Okay, but we've learned how to use it. So what we're doing here, that we are putting two boxes and putting the wood to the side. And what we're going to do is mix them up. So some of them have been damaged. I have a problem with that. You see, it's been damaged here. So Willie, what we're gonna do is that whenever I ask you for a plank, you're gonna give me one that's totally random, okay? You, you pull out uh, planks out of that pile. But to be gentle, because obviously they break on the side. Uh, that's no good. Hopefully, they will damage the integrity. Because believe it or not, these are printed, right? So they follow a specific pattern. And what you don't want is the same pattern next to each other. Uh -huh. Because then it makes it very obvious that it's a pattern. All right? So let's work uh, cleanly. Everything that's trash. You bring it downstairs uh, and we'll trash it. So this is Traffic Master Laminate Flooring, residential 30-year warranty, uh, high gloss Perry Hickory. That's the name of it. Excellent resistance to staining, fading, and scratching. The 16.33 square foot per box, 10 pieces per box. Um, and this was $2 per square foot. So, I ordered 213 square foot, because the room is 205. So how much did I pay for all this wood? Give 426. Huh? 426. Just about, yeah. So that was about $450 for the wood. It, this was 150. Okay. So that's, what, 576? Yeah. And then I had to buy all of the other stuff, okay? Mm. So all together, $748. It's expensive just to put in some wood. If I had gotten the wood I really wanted, it would have been about $2,200. Gross. You see? It's not cheap to have a home, dude. Okay? It's not cheap. Um, so you wait until you can do it. And it's okay. Nobody's in a rush. Alright, here we go. You take that to the trash, grab it over there. Thank you. And then I'm going to start here. So what you want to do is, thank you Willie, and ask your bro to come over because he's, he needs to start helping. So what you want to do is that you're going to put one plank at full length and then another one full length. And then you're going to measure how much you're missing to get to your wall. You're going to cut that. The piece that's left over, you're going to start back on the other side. So that's going to allow you to stagger your wood because you don't want uh, the seams to be all the same. Okay, so um, trying to think which one is the right groove. Right, so this here that has a small groove goes against the wall. I do like the color. I don't know about you, but I do like it. He made a good choice. Again, I said, I said again, the only thing I don't like about it is that it's really shiny and we have overhead light so and then with the sun coming out of the window well yeah but the rug is underneath it we'll see
Hey, we're making progress. Um, the issue is always over there and being able to grab the stuff from the bottom because of the uh, heat baseboard thing. But the quality is no good. Um, I've noticed there's some pieces already where you can see it's going to lift at some point. So I'm not a fan of the quality, but that's what happens when you buy the cheapest one at the store. All right, quick update. This is where we're at. It's actually not shining as much as I thought it would be. Uh, we are going to take a break. I moved that over there on the towel because I need to put a new layer of uh, under layer <laughs> and uh, we have to move forward with the rest. So what I'll do is that once I get to over here, we'll move the bed on this side and then we'll keep adding um, all the way up there. And we are actually eating pizza. No, you're having a sandwich, right? Okay, it's a mess. <laughs> What are you having? Pizza? Pizza. Okay. Thanks guys for helping. Are you learning anything? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you sound real enthusiastic. Yeah. Okay. It's nice to have help. Yeah. I appreciate it. Okay. Okay, so I gotta measure this, right? Yes. It's probably not gonna fit. No, no, of course it won't fit. Okay, it's probably gonna be the same cut then, because... No, 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 you can't say that because well, the walls may not be straight. Look right here. That, that, that. No, I, I understand that, but there may be a bevel or something over there underneath it. And by the way... Doesn't look like it. I'm, uh, I'm leaving a half an inch underneath this so that's allowing me to not use spacers on the other side so it will um, expand underneath the uh, the board um, and it's easier to install because we struggled over there Oof. all right let's measure Yes. Almost perfect. Yes. Look at you. Told you it's half an inch. Okay. This is going much faster, huh? Round two. Oui. All right, so guys, we're leaving a half an inch underneath that because that's going to allow uh, the whole thing to expand, right? When there's changes of temperature, things expand. They contract and they expand. Got it? Mm -hmm. All right, full board, let's go to the other side. Da, 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 da. We got half of the room done. Yes, half of the room. We are exactly where the bed stops. So I gotta move the bed back here. And uh, what you guys think? <sighs> I gotta finish this today. Um, this is great. So again, um, I'm flushing it on this side, but I have a half an inch underneath the baseboard. So that's gonna give it um, the room that it needs to expand so that it doesn't buckle in the summer uh, or in the winter, whichever. I think it retracts. I think it retracts in the winter and uh, expands in the summer. I don't know. I'm getting tired, but the kids are really helping. And uh, I know they'll never admit it, but they actually think it's fun. We're doing a good job. So, uh, a quick review. It's not super high quality, 
there are areas let me show you this one right there I'm leaving it alone because it's under the bed it doesn't really matter yeah here this is going to be under the bed so you see that there's a uh, this brook right here uh, so if this was in full traffic it would peel out and there's several one of them like that um, a lot of the boards come out with pieces on the side that have been broken dented or whatever so it's not super super high quality um, but what do you expect again oops what do you expect again for a dollar 99 a foot so whew. all right let me move everything to this side and then we'll start this side but look at the mess whew. I wasn't able to finish it tonight. <laughs> it's eight o'clock. Uh, we're gonna go out for dinner. So I managed to do all the way up to here. Look, I'm almost done, almost done. So anyway, I cleaned up everything. It's super easy to vacuum and keep clean. It really is. What a difference. Um, so all of this is done. And you don't hear the creaking, right? The, it used to creak in here. All the creaking is gone. See that? Oh, except when I get to this part here, which is still this um, plywood. But anyway, all right, so the bike is back. I gotta put a mat underneath it. I put everything on top here. Cleaned up as much as I could. The only thing I didn't bring back is the um, rug. It's right here. Um, it's gonna stay in the bathroom, but it is what it is, all right? I couldn't finish it. It was a rough start by having to start over there. I wonder if I would have benefited from starting on this side, but anyway, it's done now. And it's hard work. I'm thankful I had the boys to help uh, for most of the day. It's amazing how there is no creaking here. I really like that. So, um, commercial break for you, tomorrow for me. So I'll be right back. Day two. Oh. Ah. That was insane. I should not have done that. I should not have tried to do this whole floor in one day. Everything hurts, okay? Everything hurts, even my fat. Even my fat hurts. Um, but anyway, so this area here is done. I just got this area to do. And the reason why I stopped, because I have to do the stair thread thing and I, it requires measurement and I was just so tired yesterday there was absolutely no way I would have been able to do that without making a mistake. Granted my thread that I bought is really really long so I could afford to have you know repeated cut if I needed to but why? All right. So this is all I have to do here um, which is basically a box and a half maybe of um, Plex that I need to uh, use for that. Um, Scott came upstairs. He likes it, but he thinks, like me, that it's a little bit too shiny. Uh, the concern is the, sh the sun from the window, and you know that's the reason why I had put the rug, um, because I knew I was gonna put a floor, and even if the floor wasn't as shiny as this one, we would still have had a lot of sun uh, glare on the floor so that's the reason why I get the carpet so the sun is gonna go on the carpet it's not gonna go on the floor hopefully um, when it turns it's gonna go over here but we're not here during the day when it shines anyway um, so he likes the floor it just thinks it's too shiny um, I'll talk about the quality again at the end I'm a little disappointed I said that at the end of yesterday I think that um, this is not for a high traffic room, which is perfect for this room because it's not a high traffic room and the dogs don't come upstairs um, on, on the second or the third floor because they would just wreck everything and, you know, they can leave the hair downstairs. <laughs> so they basically own the entire first floor, but they don't come, and the basement, but they don't come to the second and third floor. 
um, but I can't see the quality of this flooring on a first floor where we'd have like all of my nonsense, moving stuff, dropping stuff, um, you know, the pets and all of that. I don't think this floor would last. Um, I was thinking yesterday with regards to when I moved my bike back over here, I was thinking, you know what, this, this got damaged in shipping by just being tossed around and probably, uh, you know, like a lot of the pieces had corners that were broken that I can't use. Um, I was thinking like if you have that in a basement and you have teenagers doing weights, for instance, if they drop a weight on this kind of floor, no doubt it would damage the floor. It would do a dent. Um, absolutely no doubt. So it's not super high quality. So basically I got what I paid for uh, since I got the cheapest one. <laughs> <laughs> on the laminate um, but I still like it I like the color I like the color and I like the design on it and the pattern um, anyway enough rambling I gotta get back to it okay so this here is called a stair nose uh, you see how it's okay so basically this is the top of the first step and then my flooring goes here um, there's some of them that are flushed to the floor but I am hearing that for the first step when you or the last step upstairs or the first step down you're supposed to have this overlap here and they give you um, the shims for depending on the thickness of your floor mine is eight millimeter and I'm supposed to use one shim so that one shim goes underneath here so there will be uh, that little uh, lip right here and then my floor. My floor is supposed to go right underneath here, but I'm supposed, right here, but I'm supposed to leave a little space for the floor to move. Remember, this is floating boards. That's why I got spacers um, throughout the floor. Uh, so I can't push the planks all the way up to here. They gotta be uh, about here. I'm gonna put that last um, because that gotta go over, but I need to be able to calculate where I'm going to stop all of my planks. So what I'm gonna do is measure where I need to cut this um, to get to my stair. I'm gonna place it and then I'm gonna mark here and add about 3 8 of an inch and make another line directly on the floor. And this is where I will stop my threads. Um, okay, so let's measure. So I've never done this before. That's going to be interesting. And then this is supposed to get um, nailed in, by the way. It's going to go from here to here. And I can do a tension if I want. Okay, so it's uh, 31 and 3 quarter. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, I don't need the shim. Oh, wait. I gotta take that into account. Duh. Okay, so. Yes. So I do need the shim. Um, so I could definitely do one shim. Man, this is almost the same color than the stairs. <sighs> I gotta uh, vacuum all of this again. Okay, so this is the regular, this is where it stops. Right? Let me remove it. Okay. And then I'm gonna do another mark here because I do want the floor, the planks to be underneath it. Don't know if that makes sense. So it catches the overlap. And 
another example of Sophia has more willpower than brain. <laughs> I marked the wood before I placed those on, so I gotta redo my marks. 22 and a quarter. Now, the one that goes here, these have to be ripped. Uh, I'll do that later. I have one over there that I need to rip, and then I have to rip this one. Now, uh, yeah, so 22. And this one, I'm not leaving space. Well, I am underneath it. 22 and a quarter. I am done. I am done. <laughs> so many fussy cuts at the end. I am done. Look, look, I did the stair nose. It's the first, and it transitions pretty well. Um, I'm gonna put the carpet back. I'll give you a final look, right? But this is what it looks like. So I have to paint this, uh, but it's done. I like the way it looks. Um, I like the way it feels. Again, it's not super expensive material and it shows to me. Um, there was a lot of um, broken pieces. I'm a little upset about that. <laughs> I bought a mat um, that's exactly the size of this. So I'll have a mat. I don't want to move it right now because I don't know how much it's going to damage the floor. So I'm just going to leave it there and put a mat on it. Um, Alright, so... All of the edges here, they actually are straight cuts um, that I had to fit in because I don't have, uh, don't mind the slippers, I don't have the saw where you just push the stuff in, whatever you call it, the table saw. So I had to go by little pieces and uh, rip them um, with the other saw one piece at a time. So I would do uh, one piece this way and then I would turn it and I would do the other side so that I would meet the cut basically and I did the same thing here at the corner um, the only thing I need to do now other than obviously finish painting because you see those are not finished and it's not finished in there either I have to install the uh, baseboards or whatever you call them on here on here and on here and then I have to do the quarter rounds which are in this big box over there. I have to do quarter rounds all around um, the room. Uh, so for the most part on this side I don't have a lot of um, spacers because I'm leaving a half an inch all the way against the wall over there. And then on this side I have all the spacers here and then you probably see them and then I have um, a little bit under a half an inch here and here and here and here so this room for expansion uh, and here again I have to do 
the board at the bottom and then I may have to put a tiny piece here because again this is not straight um, but yeah all right so let me I just vacuum super easy to vacuum what I'm gonna do is mop it really really fast um, because there's some areas where I have a little bit of glue from um, the back of that mat uh, I don't know if you can see over there anyway and then um, Edward is gonna help me put the rug back on Woohoo! all right I'm done it's 3 30 in the afternoon it literally took about two days to do this so I got the rug back on and I love my little corner over there um, losing light because it's 3 30 and you know winter but here it is um, okay so what still needs to be done sconces I didn't receive them yesterday, I was supposed to, didn't get them. So I have two sconces that need to be installed. So my light will go, his light will go, and we'll have two directional sconces. Uh, curtains, navy blue, all of the quarter round, all around, quarter round, uh, baseboard here, quarter round over there. A little bit of painting uh, needs to be done. Artwork all over here, over here, possibly there, and definitely over here. And I'm thinking, what else? Oh, bedding. All right, so bedding, I'm thinking white and navy blue. So I'm thinking all white, big cushion in navy blue, some white, some gold, and then a navy blue um, bed scarf. Uh, in velvet that matches the curtains so I don't know if you can visualize that but that's what it's gonna look like but anyway I'm sorry it took me so long I was trying to not be broke <laughs> but here is the uh, bedroom floor I am done okay let me say goodbye so it was a lot but I'm done well almost um, I think it's so gravy after that <laughs> uh, the quarter rounds Artwork, curtains, bedding, sconces, touch-up paint, and I'm done. Almost a whole year. Granted, I took a major break in the summer. Uh, this is actually day 35. Well, or at least stop 35. Um, so if you were to do it one day after the other, it would take you a little bit over a month. But, you know, I only worked on the weekends. And I had a big break in between, so about 40 days uh, to do it yourself. So I'm still under $2,000. Um, I did just buy a mat to go underneath the bike. And uh, I think I said that already. Um, the curtain I have to install, but I need to cut it. I purposely bought super, super long curtains um, so that I can cut them and use the extra fabric for matching throw pillows. <laughs> the gears are always running in this head of mine. Uh, so that's what I plan on doing because it's hard to find matching velvet, okay? It, it, the dye may not be the same and it would bother me if I had uh, blue velvet throw pillows that are not the same color than the curtains. Um, I'll have trash all over my living room and stuff, but little things like this bother me. I have no explanation for that, but I hope you like it. Uh, in all honesty, Scott is not sold. He thinks that it's looking fake, which it is. <laughs> I'm not going to argue with that. Uh, but he still says that's better than dingy green carpet. So we are halfway there. I think that in a couple of weeks after, you know, coming upstairs and seeing the room, especially in the evening with the gold popping out from the uh, uh, light, I think he's gonna change his mind um, and if he doesn't well <laughs> you know it is what it is uh, it's better than what we had it's better than green carpet and it's better than plywood so um, was it hard no but I still don't have the right tool I mean you saw me hammering those things um, it's very difficult to do it that way I could have rented the big machine to do it I probably would have done it faster uh, some people nail theirs um i think you do that with not the laminate like this but like well pergo is laminate well manufactured wood i guess that you can do that and definitely parquet um 
but I think I did pretty good considering I don't have the right tool, in particular with the fussy cuts. A lot of them I did by hand. That was so hard. <laughs> I gotta be honest, it was really hard. I didn't film everything because I was just like cursing a lot. <laughs> but I love my room and I think I did a good job. And um, it's really nice sitting here. I'm looking at everything that I've accomplished in this room and it's looking really nice and the color combination is really really neat i can't wait to see the bed done <sighs> um anyway so i hope you like it and again i'm sorry you waited so long to see me install the floor um i'm trying to finish this before christmas the whole thing because it will be a year so for the one year anniversary i would like to have the whole room done so i can move on to my next project um I'm trying to think, what is my next project? I would really like to do a new counter in the uh, bathroom with cabinets underneath, like redo the whole thing. But it's one of those things where I'm going to be able to do that, bring a new sink and everything, but I will never be able to do the bathtub by myself. That I would have to contract. I'd like to get those guys, you know, like the bath fitting people, come in, get rid of the tub, and just give me a walk-in shower. Um, I would love to have that, but... Not in the budget. So it's gonna have to wait. So I have to figure out what I'm gonna do for my next project. Lord knows there's plenty to do in this house. So anyway, thumbs up if you liked it. Um, subscribe right here in the corner if you're brand new. Welcome to my channel. I do projects, a lot of them. Some of them are good, some of them not so much. Um, I don't think I have the skills, but I have the willingness to do things. And definitely the willpower and the energy. I don't know where I get it from, but <laughs> I do. And uh, I have fun. Sometimes the projects come out really good, and this came out really good. I have to say, it came out really good. Um, it's not high quality. I'll say it again. If you're going to buy the Traffic Master Penny Hickory, which is the one that I got, it's a beautiful color. It looks really nice, but... This is definitely not for a high traffic area. I don't think it is. And I counted nine boards that were busted at the corner that I could not use. I have a full box left. I ordered 13 boxes. Was it 13 or 14? Anyway, I ordered 215 square feet. I got one box left. And a few uh, pieces that were miscuts uh, on my part but nine that I had to throw away because they were busted. So Traffic Master, if you're watching this, please spend a little bit more money in your packaging because when the stuff gets into those flimsy plastic, flimsy card boxes, depending on how they're being carried, thrown onto a front porch, you know, for delivery, um, the corners get damaged. I mean, it doesn't cost very much to put a styrofoam corner a new box on all four corners to protect the corners of your planks. Literally nine of them I had to throw away because I can't use them. Anyway, so I hope you liked this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe right here in the corner. And follow me on Facebook and Instagram at My Great Challenge. My Etsy shop, Frenchie and Tubby, for vintage finds. I just dropped 13 new items. Well, one sold, so that's 12 new items in there. And my great challenge gift for uh, channel merch. And then if you want to see all the behind the scenes um, and an intimate look into our family life, I have a Patreon channel, patreon.com slash my great challenge with a Facebook group that's private and a book club. We're busy over there and we're loving it. I'll talk to you later and thank you for watching. Bye. Hey, it's me. And guess what? Click that thumbs up if you really like this video. Thumbs down twice if you didn't. You can also share my video if you really, really liked it or save it to watch later. Also, you can subscribe to my channel, but don't forget to click that bell button so you are always notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching.